Hello there, I am Janko with my Pokemon and in the last part we take on the Lavage City Pokemon Gym, the gym leader is Flannery, Flannery, sorry, he's a fire type Pokemon. I also got the heat badge, and after we got the heat badge and got outside the gym, May gave us the Goo Goo Goggles, or Go Goggles, or however you want to say it. Which now we can go through that desert route, which I was talking about, that we couldn't before. So here's a nugget, so very worth picking up. I'm starting the video off right here, I guess, you know, because it's close to the nugget and where we need to be. So if we go over to the where the desert was again, you'll notice that you can actually move further than what you could before. And, oh, I was lucky. Okay, so, ah! Uh, don't you just hate random encounters? I'm gonna put a pill on real quick. But basically, I was very lucky, because there's like a... This tower right here is called the Mirage Tower, which is where you can get something. A fossil, actually. Um, like what I was talking about, that's where you get the fossil, but you can only choose one of the two. And, yeah. But, um... You usually run into it like if you exit it and come back to this route There's like you'll find it every one out of three chances one out of three times That's what my luck is so there's a 33% chance of my based on my luck I'm not saying this is correct, absolutely correct, but based on my luck It's every time you go on this route when you have the goo goo goggles and you can access it 33% of the time you will see this tower, but then keep on trying and exiting the route till, you find, till it appears it, go, it, it just disappears and reappears sometimes So if you go over to the right, it's a shortcut. There's nothing on the left. There's no item on the left So yeah, there we go, and you'll also need the mock bike for this too. So yeah, here's where you need the mock bike uh, I didn't do that right. Okay, see so if you go if you look on the left. There's really nothing here So that's why I said there's no item The right's just a little shortcut I found and yeah, let's try the skin. Okay, got on the second take. Awesome. You will need Rock Smash for this. This is why I also have my um, helper. You will need Rock Smash for this. So it's very important. Don't fall through those holes where you go to the bottom level again and don't want to redo that part. Trust me. And here's what you need. Okay, I'll step on my bike now. Here's what you need Rock Smash. So just Rock Smash this way with, uh, with your Rock Smashing Pokemon. And is there anything over here? No poke to the end. So I'm gonna go up this ladder. And right here is where you need his rock smash again. But right here is where you see the two fossils. Okay, you found the root fossil. If this fossil is taken, the ground around it will likely crumble away. Take the root fossil anyway. There's the root fossil for you. It evolves. In, uh, you can, uh, you can. What was it? You can revive it at the Devon Corporation's building in Rushboro on the second floor. That scientist dude will revive it for you. It'll be a, it'll be a Lepi, a Lolip. I'm bad with pronunciations of Pokemon. So a Lolip. I'll put a picture on right now of what it looks like. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. It evolves into Cradilly, which is a good grass and. Rock type. I mean, I used to make a ruby, and it's service of my grass type, and a bonus as a rock type, and it's really good. But I only recommend a um, Cradilly and or uh, um, Lilip and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But in this game, I'd go with the Claw Fossil right here, which I chose in Pokemon Ruby, my Pokemon Ruby walkthrough guide. It evolves into Agnor Agoroth, um, the evolved form, the evolved form of Omaldo, and yeah, it's also I think it's it's a Rock and Bug type, I think. I'll put a text away, correct myself if I need to. But there's a claw fossil. But since I want the root fossil anyway, I won't use this on my team or anything, but I just want to take the root fossil because I've come to love the root fossil more than the claw fossil because of Omega Ruby and me using a Cradilly in my Omega Ruby game. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the rock root fossil. I think um, later on you can get the other one, but I don't really know how because, again, I haven't played through Pokemon I'm going to fully, but I know, I know so much because I did Pokemon Ruby and I've seen videos of it and stuff. But after that, this little cutscene will happen. It's just crumb, it's just sinking in the sand. So there you go. And there goes the fossil too. You can only like, grab it as soon as it sinks out of sand. And did you see those pixels, guy? Dang, that was sexy. Okay, the claw fossil di disappeared into the sound, the sand. Wow. Okay, so there's that. I have shrooms up front. We're gonna take on this hiker dude. Oh yeah, this guy also tells you it reappears and stuff, but here's a Stardust. I forgot to talk to him beforehand, but that's okay. So there's the tower for that. Pell off, let's put another Pell on. 
Okay. So let's start down here, actually. Here's a picnic Let's battle. Oh, I just found the fossil, so just FYI. <laughs> the other one sank into the sand. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the sand shoe. Sandstorm, aw oh, man. Rats. Mega Drain that thing off its feet. Even though, how can a Mega Drain it off its feet if it's sitting down though? I don't know. Metal, nice, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in the Mega Drain. Make it drain the smell. Okay, it's gonna use the bubble beam. How nice. I'm just gonna use an, I'm just gonna use the make it drain dish to faint it, so just in case you guys were wondering what move I was gonna use next. So there we go, make it drain that thing off its feet. That's under that. Level 27. Okay, um... I know I'm gonna raise Knight a little bit, so I'll do that. Let's have a double battle, actually. I'm very tough actually. Uh, okay, um, I don't see a sandwich though, so, whatever. I'll choose takedown on the Taylo and Mega Drain on the uh, Sandshrew. What kind of sandwich do you have, picnicker? Guy? I don't even, even get your name. My bad. Sand Slash, you. Thank you for using my attack on the right Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> I guess the takedown. Nice. Nice leaf, huh? There goes the sand swim again. How nice. Mega Dream, that sand slash. Oh, I did about half, a little bit under half. A little bit over half, I mean. Gotta load my axe to a sand attack, how nice. It's gonna harden. Headbutt on the. Yeah, that. This should do it. Ah, oh, headbutt missed. Okay, because you will max. That makes sense, actually. Okay. So. Samsung rages again. Okay, whatever. Which is what's up on you and to get rid of your mock punch. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you were defeated. Hey, can I have that part of that sandwich now? Oh, you're trying to bribe me? Thanks for the $16.72. Ah, no. Okay, okay. I don't care. I don't care. You interrupted me. <laughs> Come on. Something about, something about a puzzle. 
first hand item there. This we'll get to later, so, you know. But down here, you can get the team for Sandstorm. There we go, nice. Okay, another battle. I shouldn't have come to a place like this for a picnic. Yeah, it's the desert. There's a sandstorm going on. Your food get all sandy. Gosh. If you think about it, that wasn't very smart if you moved to have a picnic here at the desert. <laughs> it's like common sense, you know? Take down. Let's get his tailboard on my defenses. Fair enough. I'm just getting another take down. And unlike the Meryl, Knight doesn't get hurt by the Sandstorm because it's part rock type. If your Pokemon's ground or rock type, it won't get affected by the Sandstorm. Oh, Rollout, I'm so scared. There goes the Sandstorm again. Jeez, let's use Headbutt. Nice. There goes the Meryl. Ombre. Okay. I see what my strategy is. I'm gonna use headbutt on it. Hopefully it flinches and then use headbutt again if 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 um, I need to. Yeah. Okay. Good. It flinched. It should. With this next same storm hitting the ombre, it should be enough to for another headbutt to faint this ombre. It should be enough. We'll see. There we go. Nice. I wish you'd have come, yeah. Thanks for the $2.52, I appreciate it. Here's a real maniac, dude. You're about to be challenged. Yes, you're about to be challenged. Haha. -ha. Okay, if you have a dig or something, which you probably do, it's, I'm gonna be in trouble. Because I'm four times with the ground type Pokemon. Headbutt. Slash, that's not so bad. For a critical hit, that's not so bad either. Especially since I'm full time resistant to it. Okay, I'm gonna try a takedown, see how much that does. No! I gotta hit it with a takedown. I gotta always try to take down one more time. I just gotta, I gotta. Knight, you can do it. Oh no. Oh no. I thought you would have dig. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this and be a jerk and just... Ooh, my helper has iron. I'm gonna go send out a flying type. Ha. But then my Peter gets hurt by the sandstorm. That's okay. Choose water gun. There we go, nice. Bye, Rune Rune Maniac Dusty. Thanks for thirteen dollars and eight cents. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, pocket up entry. No. This is Stardust. We that's our second Stardust in this part. Nice, because we got one when we first entered this at the beginning of the video when we entered the desert route, which is still I guess the same route. But I can't remember the name of the route. So it's called the desert route. My bad. Potion, yeah. So here I'm here. Yes, there. Oh, rare candy. Nice. There's a rare candy if you need one. Let's take on this picnicker. Okay, the sand shoe better not have dig or no dig. Ah, uh, sandstorm really affecting my accuracy? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I don't think it is, but it could be a possibility. I know fog, you know, like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, that foggy route load accuracy. Come on, it's headbutt. How is he still hitting me, you know? I mean, like, how is he, how is he, how come he's landing hits? 
Come on, Knight, you can do this. Headbutt, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try to be a risky guy and use takedown now. We'll see what happens. There we go, nice. Ah, so close. No! No, it does not. That's a bad time for it to use dig, at least for me. Because I'm, I'm gonna get hurt if I don't switch out. Again, I'm going to my flying type because it doesn't. My flying type doesn't get affected by ground type moves, which is a good strategy, I guess. New attack, I guess. Come on, how did? Wow, my moves are missing. Come on, Peter, you just gotta believe in yourself. Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. I'm just gonna stay in. Auction, okay, that's, that's just lovely. Quick, quick, nice. I guess for you. <laughs> it's nice for you, ball toy. I'm not mean. <laughs> You're the one who wanted to battle me because you, uh, you made me battle you, so. I don't know. She's another super repel. Okay, don't have a sand troop, but you probably have a sand troop. Let's battle. Okay, Knight, you gotta listen to me. You ha you just gotta land uh, takedowns or something, I don't know. Takedown. There we go, nice. Critical hit. Switch to shrooms for that one. I'm making this thing off his feet. Headbutt. Nice. Okay, I think this is the last battle. I'm not for sure though. Yeah, obviously I look better in the goo -goo, in the go in the go go goggles than you. Gosh. Of course you have a sand true. Of course. You know what? I'm gonna take it like a man. Let's see here. Take it like a man. No! You see, I'm gonna still take it like a man, but I'm gonna use a potion. Haha. <laughs> so not exactly take it like a man, but take it. At least by taking it. Um, let's see here. What potion should I use? Let's use the energy powder. Haha. 
Ajá. No, I don't want to go back to my bag. I hate when I do that. Okay, so let's use my top. Oh, come on. Come. No, you're spamming dig. You are spamming dig. That is stupid. If you're going to be a jerk, then I'll be a jerk back. I'm going to send out my flying type again. Haha. <laughs> See you on the other side, Sanchu. Let me take a guess. There we go. Now let me just double check to make sure that was all the all the trainers on this route. I know, uh, okay, Ricky, haha, ha. your six again's awesome, I know. Th yeah, that's all the trainers. So yeah, let's just go all the way down here again and use Rock Smash, and here we are back in Marvel City. So. Uh, um, in the next part, we're gonna be back at Pelberg. Uh, so yeah, but I'm also gonna try to buy the, um, get enough coins for the, uh, TM35 for Flamethrower so you can teach that to my plane. So this, I'll do it off screen though, so don't worry about that. So this has been Dragon again. I'd like to much again, again, and goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.